correct. The other component to being fit is exercise. But what does that really mean? Do you have to run to drop the pounds or is a brisk walk enough? Is it heavy weights or more reps that give you the best workout? And how many minutes a day should you exercise to actually burn fat? The bottom line, there's no one routine that fits all. My next guest looked at me and designed a workout routine that utilized what I already have. And he says your body can be your own personal gym as long as you're willing to put in a little sweat equity. Please welcome my taskmaster, Samir Becic with Eurofit. And another one of his clients, Eric Bush, who lost how many pounds so far? Uh, it's 100 pounds of fat. He lost 100 pounds of fat so far. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> OK. Um, Samir, his workout's different from my workout, which may be different from somebody else's workout. I agree. Everybody has different workouts. Every uh, physique is different. Mm -hmm. So I customize the workouts that fit actually a certain person needs. Yeah. No. Your workout was completely different than Eric's, but it was very similar to the point that both of you are very muscular, both of you have a very athletic abilities. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, so, and, and using our muscles to burn calories. Uh, one of the things that y you say too is that we all have our own gym with our own body. You don't necessarily believe that we have to use all these big fancy machines, which they can be fine for some people, but we don't have to have that. You know, being uh, working in a corporate uh, environment for many, many years and running many bigger gyms in, in America, I can definitely tell tell you, you don't need a gym to work out and be healthy. Yeah. Our workouts consist 70% of our own body. Right. In fact, we have resistance. some video here that we're going to show of some of these exercises. And when I saw these exercises, I said to myself, oh, this is so easy. This is going to be great. And then I actually started doing them. This challenges every muscle in your body. Looks easy, but it challenges every muscle in your body. In fact, your wife, uh, Deanna, is here. And Josh, I'm going to get you to do, to do this exercise where you're simply pushing her body. Right. Right. Push. Come on, Josh, push. Hurry, right, come on, Josh. <laughs> right? OK, so how does that feel? It's hard. It's hard, it's right? Hard. And you challenge, You also believe that you should work out all the most. Like, sometimes we've been, we've been told, work out your arms today, and then we'll do legs tomorrow, then we'll do ankles, you know, the day after that. You think a full body workout's more effective. I, I never think the time of bodybuilding is completely out. You know, the new stuff is coming, fitness and health, health in general. You need to work your entire body at all the time at least three, four times a week, burning as many calories as possible during the workout and not, uh, not use much, uh, muscle too much to be able to not do it the next day. Yeah. So like I consistently use the muscle equally. Okay, so Eric, for you, you had put on some pounds. Yep. yep. And what was the thing that clicked in your brain that said, I gotta get fit? I, I just didn't have energy. I didn't have any uh, motivation to spend time with my kids and my job was suffering everything just felt bad yeah so did you really think this was gonna work when you decided I'm gonna go ahead and sign uh, up for the trainer I, I wasn't sure I was worried about the, the being sore and, and not having a lot of fun and being difficult and, yeah. and Samir made it made it fun we, yeah we made it he gave me a lot of energy and we made uh, made it fun and the other thing is I know what to do I have worked out before and I know what to do but I'm not gonna do it if I don't have somebody standing there exactly. saying, come on, you, you can do it, you can do it, and doing it correctly. See, I saw potential in you this first moment I met you. I, I, I don't remember if you remember, like four or five months ago on TV, uh -huh. I said, you look like a, a Halle Berry, then I said, Angela Bassett, and then I called you <laughs> Queen Cleopatra uh, the last time. But you know what? You have ability. You have a very athletic body, and I was using that to my advantage to create the best as possible, and that this is the result we have, guys. Doesn't yeah. she look great? Well, thank you. Halfway there, we're halfway there. Probably but there. you talked about wanting to be fit, wanting to have energy with your kids. Uh, again, a lot of us focus on this. As I think, especially for women, it's an aesthetic thing. It's like, girl, she looked fat. She's too fat <laughs> to be a, right. Of course, the camera adds extra weight too. But uh, when it's about health, and that's I think what you really need to do is focus on health. The rest will come. And so again, I got that that one email where someone says, well, don't focus on your weight. That's not so important. You're sending a wrong message to to young girls. And no, I'm not. And here's the reason why. We have Dave Chalmers, who is with us this morning. And Dave, you are how old? 85. And the last time we wanted to have you on, you couldn't because you had some tennis tournament you were That's involved right. in. That's right. Played yeah. in a tennis tournament. <laughs> won a prize. That's right. I won a prize. Now, but for you, this has been uh, fitness, a part of your life, your whole life. Oh, my whole life. Started out mowing lawns as a kid without a motor. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So the point being is that if you keep this as a lifestyle, this is what you're doing at 85. Absolutely. Okay, I want to be like you when I'm 85. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> it's never, never too late to start. Never too late to start. I don't, uh, like about two shows ago, we had a little girl, six years old. Mm -hmm. She was performing push-ups. My idea for this show was is 
never too early to start. It never is too late to continue and be in great shape like a, a Mr. David Bay Chalmers. Look at you, Deborah. You look 20 years younger. It's amazing when you work out and feel great. And like uh, Keith Klein said, do not wait Monday to start. New resolution starts today. Your new resolution starts today. And today is Tuesday, is it? Yeah. So you start today changing your body and going forward. And if you have that kind of mentality, you'll always succeed. Do not feel bad for the previous day, uh, previous day what you eat. Feel great for the great day that's coming today and coming tomorrow. So always optimistic, positive, going forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. I'll see you in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> we share our pain together, but it's a good kind of pain. You can get more information great about pain. Eurofit at greatdayhouston.com. Plus, Great Day viewers who call Eurofit by Friday get 10% off a training package. Up next, how technology can help zap the fat from problem areas when diet and exercise just aren't enough. And there's no downtime. Well, for about three weeks, I tried uh, throwing three tomatoes into a blender with about 250 grams of cabbage and 250 grams of beans. Wouldn't recommend it. It's not very good, but yeah, I lost about uh, 63 pounds.